hey, I'm going to make this quick. Um, I want to sit here and say that I got a warning on my channel. I've been talking about how they've been wanting to take away my channel for years now. I got a warning on my channel and the channel, um, the video that basically that basically got taken off was basically just it was, the title was zombies. Um, I don't know if that was a video of me talking or if that was a video from a call for an uprising, but regardless, that video got taken down. Um, I also would encourage you. I'm, <laughs> I gotta do a lot. I'm off almost this whole entire week. I just gotta work Thursday and Friday at my job, but I gotta figure out, um, some stuff. I gotta download a lot of stuff. I gotta do a lot. Uh, but my channel almost got taken down. So whatever you find useful on my channel that you absolutely want to share to people and that is of use to you, that is informational, I would highly encourage you to uh, to save my videos. And when I mean save, I literally mean um, copy the link. You know, if you know how to convert stuff, you know, copy the link um, on my on one of my videos. Uh, they have like converters online. Save that video because. Um, my stuff's going to be taken down. Um, I got to figure out a lot. Um, just a lot of stuff has been happening. Um, but I want to come on here, address that. Um, I also want to come on here and address the fact that um, obviously we're closer to the shift change, but I also want to talk about this recent uh, mass shooting that happened. Um, it's tragic. I think like almost 20 kids died. I, they showed like 16 pictures of kids. Uh, almost 20 kids died. I've been talking about my followers about this stuff on my business page. And I've been telling them that this story, they are, pu they are pulling out everything, first of all. But with this story, they're about to go somewhere with this story. And whatever they're about to go with it, they're about to run with it. Because obviously that gets into basically gun control, all this other stuff. But I also want to sit here and say that um, I've been, I basically came across some a not so bright individual that tried to make a gun debate and talk about, and they said that basically we're all the gun people that say it takes a good gun to stop a, stop a bad gun. When in actuality, I found out that um, Joe Biden, he passed a bill when uh, in 1990 that basically made it to where all public, private, and I think charter schools are no gun-free zones. So there's that. And there's also the fact of um, California recently, once again, California, you know, they call it California, uh, right there. California is also, fun fact, is also in the same area as Yellowstone. Um, fun fact, and California also has volcanoes. But my point is, is that California actually just passed something where basically, <laughs> and, and when I say they're going to run with this, they're going to run with this. They basically passed something where... Um, well, I'm 27. So when I was like 19 in high school, um, if you don't know in public school, they always had police officers or security guards, basically in California, if you stay in the state of California, they have basically gotten rid of that from the schools. I don't know if it's elementary school or what, but they've gotten rid of it. Um, when it comes to basically being at school with children. So calling it now that's why the sky turned red in california and so um whatever they're about to do i'm not claiming this isn't from god i'm not claiming something's going to happen this is just me talking i talk a lot on my videos um sometimes when i talk just me by myself sometimes i'm right sometimes i'm wrong but um you know pay attention to that that's another reason why um it's also been dawning upon me that's another reason um why i've just god didn't tell me this but um, people have been saying that I follow or people that I used to follow um, are saying that, you know, keep your kid out of school because, you know, in the terms of if there's another event when there's a lockdown or another uh, disease starts spreading or virus or whatever the case it is, you know, um, the government is basically they're going to basically keep your kid in at school and they've already passed this. I got to do a TikTok on this. I got to get my uh, business TikTok account back. The one that I have on here that I use, um, I have that, but I got to get my other TikTok account back. But um, but that and a lot is going on. 
and be aware of this and do not fall for this at all whatsoever. You know, uh, children just died, etc. My condolences. But you also need to realize that these people do not care about your children. Everything that these people do, it is always in the name of children. You know, that's the reason why Baphomet has actually a picture. Uh, there's a statue of Baphomet uh, with uh, children because, you know, they love children. And that's actually <clears throat> literally and that's actually in talking from a dark perspective. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that. So I want to say that, and I also would encourage you um, that with the whole, uh, I made a compilation video on, I made a compilation video on the mermaid stuff, so I would highly suggest that you save that, because that is stuff that's actually uh, coming out from the bottom of the ocean, um, that stuff is real, obviously, save that. Um, save my shift change videos. Um, and there's like some other stuff I have, but point is, is that save these videos. Um, because if I can't save these videos, pretty much there's pretty much nothing else I can do. Um, what else is there that I want to talk about? And then I'm also going to have to start deleting some of my videos that I got from a call for an uprising. And I'm going to have to basically, uh, Download them, and I, I'm a member of YouTube, so I got to figure out some stuff. They have it where you can download it, and then it, it gets stored on your phone, but uh, I got to figure out how all that works. Um, but that, and um, obviously, I found out something about August, because I've been talking about August. Basically, with August, gas prices are supposed to be at a maximum of $10 a gallon in August, so that's something that's supposed to happen in August. And in terms of, I found this out a couple of months ago, the beginning of this year or last year, that it's impossible for you to stock up on gas. That's impossible. And even if you did do that, I wouldn't advise you to do that because apparently the ethanol or whatever the case it is, it runs out between three or four months. So that's the max. Um, and even then, I wouldn't have that stuff in your car or probably laying out in, in the house because, I mean, it's gas. You know, it gets too hot. You know, you might start a fire or, you know, somebody's playing with the lighter or whatever the case it is, you know, it's gas. So, um, that, and mother of God, what else is there? Um, and yeah, something's about to happen. And whatever they're about to pull, something is about to happen. It took a month for this whole, uh, I can't say the word that I want to say. I'll just say this bug to, to start. And where they locked everything down, I can sit here and say that if they try doing that again, people know and they're going to have hell on their hands. But that's the reason why they want to amp up uh, what is that ever is in people's bodies. And then that gets to the whole zombie thing. In which case, I want to sit here and tell you this because, uh, hold on one second. I want to sit here and tell you this because... Um, I tell somebody this that I talk to on the phone with, I tell them that a man that claims to know everything knows nothing at all. And I don't know anything at all when it comes to God's mind, God's plan, and all this other stuff. I know probably less than a third of what God actually wants to do. Um, so I'm left out on a loop like everybody. Obviously, you know, have faith, all these other things. And obviously about what I said, basically, you know, you, you'll go to sleep one day and uh, you'll be some, you'll be someone new. You'll look different, all this other stuff. And that gets you to the whole, uh, shift change thing. But outside of that, well, I can't actually really say outside of that because I'm an analytical person, but, um, but other than that, that's, hold on. But, um, other than that, I really honestly don't know what else to say, but, um, Uh, things are about to um, get pretty interesting because pretty much I talked to somebody on the phone about this stuff for like three or four hours. And I told them that pretty much um, once whatever is going to happen in July or around August, I don't know. I'm just I just keep hearing stuff that's supposed to be happening in August. But whatever is supposed to happen, it's about to. Um, it's about to backfire um, in these people's faces because, you know, obviously rent's going up, gas is going up. Prices are going up. There's a baby formula shortage, all these other things. You know, people are going to get irritated. People are going to get pissed. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if people start looting, burning stuff and all these other things. Since considering it's it's the 
almost the middle of the year or it's past the middle middle of the year uh i don't know but um i don't <laughs> pay attention to calendars and stuff but um but point is that's the reason why um the red hot chili peppers came out with a song called black summer you know uh there's a reason why it's called uh black summer you know the color black because something's supposed to be happening in the summer and so um that and Pretty much, I think that's it. Um, also, too, another thing is about what God told me a long time ago about do not produce and don't have children. There was a story that came out about a man that literally he traveled a thousand miles just to get baby formula for his family. You know, don't know the whole story about that, but God is warning. Uh, God is warning you and God is warning and, and God and, and it's there. And, you know, I talk about how I'm a prophet, all this other stuff. But even though I don't like using that word because I'm just an ordinary person. Um, but, you know, even normal people are telling people that, you know, this stuff was coming and people that aren't even prophets. And they were telling people that. Um, that, you know, to stack up and, you know, don't be dumb and ignorant and ignore and just laugh at people that are saying this stuff is happening. And so. There you go. Um, and yeah. And also. um once again, uh, uh, mermaids and sirens actually are real. I actually did have a, a, a vision or a dream. Uh, it was very uh, disturbing um, of me be getting lured into the ocean with a with a siren or a mermaid. And uh, they're pretty demonic. So you're, expect to see more of those. Um, so that and there's also I got to post a TikTok of this. There's also there was also a. Um, Something that got discovered in Chile where basically uh, there's like four creatures and one of them was a fairy or a pixie. It's the same thing. Um, and it looks demonic as hell. And that's not me cussing. I'm literally talking. That's I'm actually not joking. It looks demonic as hell and has butterfly wings, four wings and blonde hair. And it looks disgusting. And uh, do your research on fairies and all these mythological creatures. They've been uh, they show us something that's bright and uh, they show us bright and good and, and fun loving when in actuality, they're not. Um, so that and I'll do a short on my um, my new page and stuff and whatnot. I got to start doing a lot of stuff. So, yeah, other than that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So. God bless you. And, uh, just let me know what you, let me know what you think, whatever. And feel free to reach out to me on here. Uh, you can type in my name, Paul Truther, T R U T H E R P A U L Paul Truther on Facebook message me. Um, I'm also on, uh, Instagram. Don't come out to me. I tell, I've been saying this, don't come out to me, reach out to me, message me on Instagram. And then, you get uh, uh, you get shocked and blown away by what I do and what I write and all this other stuff. Like I don't like talking to people about this stuff because it's it, it's I almost cussed. It's it's honestly just annoying. But I've been open about what I do, who I am, what I write, all this other stuff. So don't come right, don't come on my page. Start following me, doing all this other stuff, and then you get triggered, happy, you get offended, and all these other things. When I've been open about who I am from the get go, so you go message me, just message me. Don't try and sit there and follow me and all this other stuff and try and keep tabs on my life. Like, I'm just telling you to where to reach out to me. And you can pretty much type in my same name. I have two pages um, on Instagram. I got a backup page that's blank. And then I got another page where I have, like, all my writings and stuff and who I am. It's my business page. And so, um, yeah. So, other than that, pretty much. And then you can also reach out to me on TikTok. And you can pretty much just type in, I have my own hashtag on TikTok. It's Paul Truther, but you can pretty much uh, follow me on TikTok. And my TikTok is uh, Paul Truther. Just type in Paul Truther and you should find me. Um, so yeah, other than that, God bless you and have a blessed day.